Hola amigos, I am Ice of Silver and I am here now to respond to a question from an emotional projector. She is new to the human design world and considering a living your design course and I was also interested in gene keys and she wasn't sure you know which way maybe she should go and um, so there is a really big difference and I'm taking this opportunity to explain how I see that. So living your design versus gene keys. First of all, living your design is a specific workshop that the International Human Design School certifies people to teach. It is pure to the human design system that Ra Uruhu developed. Gene Keys is not human design. The founder of Gene Keys was a student, disciple, whatever, <laughs> of Ra Uruhu. Um, but he had his own thing and he separated from Ra eventually. And I'm, I'm no um, expert on that history. The point being that there are really significant differences. And here's how I would summarize the difference between living your design under the human design system and gene keys. It's mechanics versus poetic mental masturbation. Is it, does it feel good to masturbate with poetic words about yourself? Yes. Can it help you? Yeah, maybe. Uh, does it miss everything that's practical about the human design system? Yes, from my perspective. So in living your design in that workshop, there's some really core things that we learn and experience and support each other through. And it has to do with nine centers, right? We're nine centered humans, the self versus the not self, all those open centers, got a lot of not self things going on, all that conditioning from life, things like that. Strategy and authority the way to guide yourself, the way to let yourself be guided through your life with less resistance because your mind is only gonna bump up against resistance. And deconditioning, getting rid of, well, trying to clean out some of the gunk acquired and all of those decades of living as if we were all the same because we're not all the same, we're all completely unique. It's the science of human differentiation So let me give you an example of, of what mechanics means when I say that. Because it's not philosophy and it's not a belief system, right? So here's an example of some mechanics that we review in Living Your Design. There are nine centers in the body graph. Two of them are pressure centers. The pressure to think and confusion and inspiration and such, and the pressure to do, okay? You may have these defined or not defined. You'll have a different experience of life based on that. People around you may have them defined or undefined. You'll have a different experience of them based on that. That's mechanics. It's not philosophy. It's not personal. It's mechanics. So besides two pressure centers, we have three awareness centers. We have four motor centers. There's one manifestation center. And remember there is true self and not self expressions of all of these nine centers. If you have that one filled in, you're a generator. You're in the majority type. You have life force. If it's open, you're a manifester or a projector or a reflector and you don't have that life force. It's a really different life <laughs> if you're sacral or non-sacral. None of that comes up in Gene Keys at all, as far as I understand. Now, I haven't studied it personally, but I've heard plenty of discussions about it. And whenever I see people talking Gene Keys, I just, my reaction is like, why are you bothering to talk about that? <laughs> you know, are, are, have you mastered strategy and authority? It doesn't sound like it. Um, so my summary of Gene Keys is it has a lot of nice words about the gates. I have read some of 
whatever that main gene keys book is. And it talks about the individual gates, right? The 64 gates. And it talks about, well, it gives really nice language about these different levels, you know, like the dark, I think it's called like the shadow and the, the and the, the, you know, it's like the low, medium, high version of living those. And it makes it sound like you could just use your mind to work your way up into the, I forget what the word is, seedy, like the most exalted version of each of your gates. So it's really appealing to the mind. Gene Keys is, and especially if you like nice words. I mean, there's a lot of really unpleasant words in human design, but there's a lot of unpleasantness in humanity too. So if you want to see, you know, why some people have certain stuff going on, you can find it in mechanics. Or you could just say they're in their shadow self, I guess. <laughs> but I don't know, that just doesn't seem useful. So my advice to everyone considering human design system versus gene keys is to learn to live as yourself as your type your aura energy type by your authority living your design workshops are designed to catalyze that it's not the only way then maybe once you've really got that down then maybe take up the Gene Keys book in order to understand at more depth what's going on at that level. But to get lost in the poetry and not gain the benefit of the mechanics would be a shame. And I wouldn't want that for anyone. So I have said my piece. <laughs>